Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you all for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be discussing with you five things that I personally find will help you stay sane throughout the holiday season. So if you want to know what they are, then please keep watching. Now this should not end up being a super long video, however I personally always enjoy chatty videos with a lovely hot steaming beverage, so I'm drinking rooibos tea with chocolate and vanilla flavor and I added a bit of my homemade hazelnut milk. The recipe for my homemade hazelnut milk will follow in a few days, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any further videos. And before we start, I would also like to throw in a short advertisement for myself. So if you're interested in creative stuff, especially sewing, I have a DIY channel named Sewing Clara, so I will link it down below. And I'm now also offering digital sewing patterns patterns in multiple sizes on my homepage, so I'll link my homepage down below. And now let's jump right into today's video. The first thing on my list is something that does not apply only to the holiday season, but also to the rest of the year, and that is to prioritize. You don't have to finish every single task before Christmas or even before the end of the year. Make fewer cookies, go to fewer parties. You don't have to meet every single person you thought you have to before Christmas. And honestly, very often we want to meet people who don't really make time for us throughout the year anyway. Are they really worth stressing over? I don't think so. I remember when I was a kid, my mom would stress over such stupid things before Christmas. Everything had to be done, everything had to be perfect, and that also included to take down the good china from all the beautiful shelves that my grandfather built for my parents. So they had a, a huge set of this onion pattern china, which is really pretty, but honestly I can't see it anymore after cleaning it so many times. So the china was just sitting there the entire year collecting dust, and it's been taken down probably twice, once usually just to be washed, but we wouldn't use it and once mostly for the Christmas dinner and then it would go back to the shelves and I thought like okay when I'm gonna be a grown-up there is no way I would have the good china I'll have just whatever china I'll have and I'm gonna use it the entire year because I don't want to do this anymore we did not have a dishwasher so I had to hand wash every single damn saucer every single plate every single bowl and I swore to myself never ever again once I left my parents house of course, if you enjoy having more sets of china and if that's something you're passionate about, there's nothing wrong with that. I just found it so unnecessary that we would have to wash the entire set when we actually already knew that we're gonna need one bowl for the potato salad, a few plates for the main course and a few plates for the soup. And if we were, if we had washed just these, that would have been enough and we wouldn't have so much stress. So again, prioritize even with these things. Basically what I'm trying to say, if you're already stressed and there are certain things that are not crucial to your enjoyment of the holiday season, if they would not ruin your Christmas Eve, just just leave them and do it whenever. It's it's okay. Nothing has to be perfect. It's just life isn't perfect. We're not perfect and it's absolutely okay. I promise. The next point is something that also helps with the first point and that is to make lists of pretty much everything. Listen, even Santa Claus makes a list and he's even checking it twice, so there's no shame in doing that as a human being. But jokes aside, I personally am making real lists for pretty much everything whenever I start feeling a bit stressed because I tend to be very distracted. I tend to start doing so many things at the same time and then I kind of lose myself in the middle and then I feel overwhelmed and stressed and, and then everything goes down the drain and that's just that's just not really helpful. So I'm usually making lists for shopping, I'm making even sometimes lists for the things I want to cook, especially now that I'm healing my chronic gastritis, I have to have a certain diet and it really helps me to write down the things I want to cook because then I have a meal plan for the entire week. I also like making lists of the Christmas presents that I want to buy or make and of the videos that I plan on filming and so on and so on. 
I really find that when I have written everything down and when I look at it, I have a really clearer mind than when I'm just thinking it. And it helps me to prioritize much better because I have it listed in front of me and it's kind of easier to decide what's more important and what not. The next point on my list is meal prep the shit out of it. And that might sound a bit random, but it is really so helpful, or at least in my opinion, if you are stressed, you need proper nutrition in order to have energy. And that's not gonna come from junk food or a protein bar there and a banana there. And I personally find that when I just take one afternoon, usually on the weekend, and cook several meals and then partially freeze them and partially put them in the fridge in Tupperware so that I'll have proper food for the next few days, it just takes away the stress because when I go to the office, I just grab a Tupperware with me, I'll have a decent lunch, I don't have to go out, I can, you know, continue working uninterrupted, I only make a short break for lunch, I don't have to go to the store or think where, where I'm gonna be able to get decent vegan food. And when I'll come home, I'll have another lovely dish waiting for me in the fridge and it's just so nice. And I also personally find that cooking several meals at the same time and preparing them in one afternoon saves time at the end anyway. Of course, you have to chop more veggies and peel more potatoes and whatnot. But for example, when I plan on making two kinds of stir fries, I just take a larger pot for my rice and the cooking time will be the same. So I think you get what I'm trying to say. So anyway, that's something that always helps me through times when I feel stressed. And right now before Christmas season, I think it's very relevant as well. If you would want me to film when I'm gonna do my next meal prep, let me know in the comments. And now to the fourth point on my list, and that is don't feel guilty if you skip a few workouts or if you end up having occasionally junk food before Christmas. Honestly, we are all humans and sometimes we just need a little breather. I personally am someone who really works out very regularly. You know, I have really great discipline when, when it comes to that. But at the end of this year, I kind of feel tired because I've been dealing with my chronic gastritis ever since July and there was this issue with my liver tumor and that all cost so much energy and right now I'm honestly actually enjoying creating these vlogmas videos for you guys and I have some creative stuff that I want to do. I just purchased a thrifted fall fur jacket that I want to pimp up with some additional plush and some toggle buttons and whatnot and I really want to do these things not because I feel like I have to but because I want to but the day has only 24 hours, so I don't work out four times a week like I normally do, but I work out once or twice a week, and you know what, it's okay. And sometimes in the evening when I don't have my meal prep and when I don't feel like cooking, we just go next door to the late, uh, little Asian takeaway shop and we get stir fry there. It's a bit greasier than what I would cook, but it's fine. Now, I'll be the first to admit that there is this little voice in the back of my head that says, yeah, you were so much more flexible when you were stretching every day and now you're gonna lose your muscle mass and, and the technique won't be so great when you're boxing because you're not boxing regularly and blah, 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 blah. But fortunately, the reasonable voice over the years got so much stronger and what it says to this little voice is, shut your trap. <laughs> and that's basically it. So. Tell the little voice that annoys you in the back of your head to shut its mouth and enjoy the occasional junk food, enjoy a quiet evening. You can work out between the holidays and if you don't work out regularly for three weeks of the entire week, year, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. And the fifth and the last point on my short list is about traditions. You don't have to follow every single tradition that you grew up with to a T if it stresses you out or if you simply don't enjoy it and it does not make you a bad person and you should never ever let anyone around you guilt trip you if you decide to change certain traditions or to just drop them. You can make your own traditions or you can adjust the traditions that you grew up with so that they would not add up to your stress. And you can also compromise somehow 
So for example, my husband comes from America and I grew up in former Czechoslovakia, now Czechia. So we do have different backgrounds and even though the Christmas celebration is very similar in both countries, it is still a bit different where I came from and where Jack came from. And we decided to kind of fusion these two ways of celebrating Christmas and we have our own tradition now. So what we do is in the evening on the Christmas Eve we will have our dinner but we don't eat exactly the stuff that I would eat as a kid or he would eat as a kid partially because we are both vegans and partially because we just enjoy different things. To be honest we just cook whatever we or like I cook whatever we feel like eating but I always make sure that it's special and delicious. Then we exchange a few presents that's normally the way it's celebrated in Europe. Uh, the Christmas presents are being exchanged on Christmas Eve. And then we leave a few presents for uh, the 25th. So in the morning on Christmas Day, when we wake up, we still have a few things to exchange in front of the Christmas tree. And it's a beautiful and simple tradition. It's a great compromise. And that way we can bring our background together and make something new of it. And I really want to emphasize you should never ever let anyone guilt trip you if you don't like certain traditions or if you don't following follow them to a T. Nobody's living your life. You are the one who has to live your life. You have to make yourself happy first and the people that matter to you. And the rest of the world is not so important. We can't please everybody in the world. And the most important people are you and all the people that you love. All right, so let's sum this up. So point number one, prioritize. Point number two, make lists. Point number three, meal prep. Point number four, don't feel guilty if you don't work out or if you have occasionally junk food. And point number five, don't let people push certain traditions on you if you don't enjoy them or if they're stressing you out. Make your own traditions, make compromises or adjust all the traditions to your liking and to your lifestyle. Now, do you agree with this list? Is there anything you would like to add? You can let me know in the comments. And thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys very much. God bless you and see you soon with my next video. Bye.